Well, to some much needed good news now in British Columbia. The Coquihalla Highway finally reopened to commercial traffic today, weeks after extreme weather destroyed parts of the pivotal route with floods and landslides. Crews are still busy repairing the critical connection, but news of its reopening is welcome relief to truckers and BC's supply chain. Global's John Waugh is on the Coquihalla near Hope, BC tonight. John. Well, Jeff, it's pretty remarkable to think that just over a month ago, the Coquihalla Highway was literally torn to pieces in 20 different places. Now, you can still see evidence on one side of me where both lanes were washed out and are being rebuilt as we speak. But on the other side, commercial traffic is once again moving freely on this crucial supply route that connects BC with the rest of the country. Many drivers know it as British Columbia's highway through hell. So hopefully the, we don't have to chain up. Now truckers are calling the Coquihalla a beacon of hope. I'm kind of excited for it to be open. I didn't know it was going to open so soon. I mean, it's a main link. It, you, you can't get through without that one. Barely a month after the 543 kilometer highway was ripped apart in multiple places by atmospheric rivers and flooding. This critical supply route connecting BC to the rest of Canada is open once again. The only thing that could bring the Coquihalla back was the sheer force of will of the road building community for 31 days straight, round the clock, to get this to happen. It didn't take long for important goods and supplies to hit the reopened road, which normally sees on average 4,000 trucks a day. You really can't overstate the importance of the Coquihalla in terms of how it connects the lower mainland and the port of Vancouver and all those, those things that we take for granted to the rest of the country. For truck driver Len Kimmer is seeing the Patrick of Fixes firsthand, offering hope for a province trying to rebuild. Make everything a little safer and everything move a little better. All the good. Now, BC's Ministry of Transportation reiterated the fact that this is not the old Coquihalla Highway and these are just temporary fixes. When it comes to building the highway back better, including climate adaptations, well, the work to figure out those overall costs and timelines has only just begun. Jeff? John Wall reporting near Hope, B.C. Thanks, John.